Hello, this is Raina with Lila Crafts coming on today to share some very sweet tags with flips, with journaling spots, with places to put a tea bag, to put another tag to send out in Happy Mail. These would be such a great way to tell a friend or a loved one or a coworker that you're thinking about them. So they are so super versatile and can even be mass made. So what I wanna do is take you through a few of the variations that I did, and then at the end, we'll make one together. Okay, so on this very first one, and I made these with book page bases and they are super simple and easy to make. This one has this beautiful lily on it. I've got some jute as well as some beige twine on here to bring the natural elements in. I've got, added some stickles. I put a little bit of lace and I added a tiny postage stamp where I put a little bit of stickles on that little fly right there as well. When you open it up, you can see I've got a pullout. So I've got a tab right here where you can journal on the front, you can journal on the back, and it has a spot here for a tag, a gift card, or anything that you would like to put in there, stickers, a tea bag, so many fun things that can go in these sweet little tag pockets. And these are in, inspired by Roxy's Creations. And so I will put a link to her channel in the description below. Thank you so much. So this one, I've got a sweet lily on here. I added again stickles. I did that to all of them to really enhance the sweetness of the paper. This time I made two flip outs so you can have tons of rooms to journal or write a love letter to somebody, write your thoughts, write your memories. You could put a little picture in here. You can draw, you can do mixed media in it. So I've got this sweet one here. Then next, this time, not only did I stickles, I put lace over here on the side. I added a double bow with some string. I added a tiny piece of bling over there to tie that together. And this one opens to the right now. So these first two open to the left and this one opens to the right. And inside here, you can see I've got a Project Life card. So you can put any card on the inside. So I have a sweet pocket right here. And there's more space to journal over here. This might be sweet if you add a sticker to that as well. So love the way that that turned out. This one, I have lace on the top and I added this sweet little rose trim that ties in with the roses here. I added some lace to the bottom. I put a little butterfly stick sticker and I added some stickles to this as well. Then also on the left, when you open it up, it's got a sweet pullout tab right over here. Everything is inked, which is totally optional. You do not have to ink if you do not want to. Then on these two, this one here, I put a, it's called a slot punch. And my sweet son gave that to me for Christmas. So I love that so much. I've got lace up here on the top. And then I added a piece of lace that's like a vine over here. And I thought that really matched these climbing roses on the side here. I put a ticket and this little cut apart that says sparkle. I've inked all those together. And then I wrapped that around the back side. I think that turned out so cute like that, right? Right? And then when you open it up, again, it's got a tab in the dark to tie in with the bird and you can write on both sides. So I think that is so sweet as well. And don't forget, you can stick things in the pockets. And then this one, I've got a lace piece on the top that I just went and stapled. I used my tiny attacher, but any stapler will do. If you don't like staples, you can go ahead and just glue it on down. Okay, and this one has a sweet violet and I've got a sweet little bird there and I stickled that up. And then when you go onto the inside, I made like a little flip pocket right here. 
So there's multiple pieces of journaling spots or paper to write your notes, your thoughts. On the other side, I put another piece of this sweet paper over here and I had this little scrap left over and I added this little scallop lace to the side so that it would be decorated on the inside as well as on the outside. Okay, and so for my last one, it's this one. It's a little rose vine print and I've got some sweet little lace that I've also stapled on the top. Over here, I've got a Tim Holtz little piece of ephemera. I have a piece of pink ephemera and then I had a faux wax seal sticker that I added onto that. And then when you go on the inside, it's got places to write. And then I duplicated this with the pocket. And this time I did add a sweet flower sticker to the inside of that. I think that is just adorable. So those are all my ideas. And if you'd like to see how I made it, stick around and we will make this one together. And so I've got a book page here and all I'm gonna do is just clean up this edge. So I'm just gonna use my paper trimmer to cut that okay. off. So now we've got this piece of paper right here. And the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to fold it in three. Okay, so now we've got our little notch over here and that creates the pocket where you can put a tag or anything that you would like inside. And here is the front flap. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to turn this top into a tag shape. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit on this side and I'm actually gonna trim just a hair more right over here. So we have our tag shape on the top like that and we've got our pocket on the inside. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is pick our paper to cover this. Now you don't have to cover your whole book page if you don't want to, but I had these papers in my stash and I am crashing my stash and that is a hashtag you can use crash your stash where you can go ahead and use anything that you have in your stash to make a project and use that hashtag it is an open collaboration that is hosted by Dale of not too shabby chic and myself and the whole idea is to not spend any money on your crafting, right? To use what we already have. So we do a monthly prompt. This next monthly prompt is stickers and friends and you post on the first Friday of the month or any time of the month that you have a chance. And if you don't wanna do the prompts, you don't have to. You, It's just for fun. You can just use that hashtag anytime you are crashing your stash. Okay, so I put some glue down and I'm just lining this paper up. I'm gonna flip this over so I can line it right up with all of the edges. Okay, and I'm going to press down on that. And then I want to glue this back part on. And so I am just going to use my glue right here and I'm making like an approximate line straight line of where that goes. I'm just gonna put glue around. Now you can use any kind of glue you want. So uh, you can use your glue stick if you want. You can see that I went down too low on that. So that's totally okay. And what we wanna do is give it a little bit of time to dry, okay? So I am going to go ahead and cut off this excess right here and it is going to take a little bit longer because where I live which is in Tennessee we had eight inches of snow the other day and we are expecting another two today we have a wind chill advisory so it is so beautiful I'm so blessed I am in the process of moving my craft room to the front of the house so my husband can have a room to do his trains he loves himself some trains, and this room has a really big, beautiful window, and so, so happy that I can see out onto our front yard. So there's my front yard. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna repunch this little circle here. 
So we've got that all lined up just like that. Okay, I'm gonna hope that it is dry enough to fold this top part over again. And all the way over, and I just wanna crease it like that. Isn't that looking so pretty? There we have it, and know that, you know, if you wanted to put something else over here, you could on the back side. I love that the paper is showing, so I'm just going to leave it like that. The next thing, though, that I am going to do is ink. This is totally optional. You do not have to ink. I am using some vintage photo, and I'm going to just go around. Now, this is also an awesome idea for a mass make project because all you have to do is fold all your book pages at once, then do all the gluing at once, then you can do all the paper adding at once, then you can do all the inking, and then you can decorate them all. So just such an awesome and fun and easy way to mass make items for Happy Mail, if you wanna give some to Valentine's Day, or if you wanna just make ahead some things so you're ready to go to pop things into your journal, you can do that. So tell me, what kind of weather are you guys having? Is it cold where you are? Or are you in a part of the country that is warmer? I have never experienced weather like this. I think like I've been in the mountains when it was like 30 degrees or 32 degrees, but we, not today, but the day before had a wind chill of negative seven. Woo, that was cold. Okay, so what I did was I just took my little corner rounder and I rounded that the bottom of this corner right here. Okay, now what I wanna do is I want to decide what I wanna put on the inside for journaling, okay? So, or for you to write a sweet message or a love note to your, to your special someone, you can put on the inside. And what I am using is this brown paper. Now, I have seen so many awesome people use straw paper, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And so when I went to Home Depot, uh, we, I had to help someone move recently and I was buying packing paper. They had this more brown one instead of the really light colored one. And I thought, hey, that would be so great. So I purchased that and these are the leftovers, okay? The leftovers of this packaging material. And so, so what I'm gonna do is just use my ruler to tear tear some of this off. So it looks like it's a little bit long because I do not want it to go above that little notch that I put in there for the tag. So I'm just gonna fold it. And then I'm gonna use my ruler to approximately tear tear near that line. All right, so now I have a piece of paper and I want to decide what kind of journaling spot do I wanna give. And I think what I want to do is this one right here. So this one has a place to journal and then it has a pocket and then you can put like a little Project Life card in here or anything else that you would like. I wanna put a Project Life card because I have so many of those Project Life cards. I don't know about you, but I need to, you know, crash my stash and get rid of some of those. So I am going to fold this to make the pocket over here. And then on this side, I am going to tear it just a hair longer than this, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold this over, okay? To make this part where I am gonna glue it down, okay? And what I'm gonna do is just glue this flap right here. I'm gonna put just a hair of glue on the underside. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that down close to the edge, but not all the way to the edge. Okay, then I'm gonna come on this side and I'm gonna glue this side down, just on the back. 
Now you can glue all the edges down if you want, but I find that sometimes it just makes more crinkles in it when you don't wait for it to dry before you fold it. So I'm not gonna glue those down this time. I'm just gonna leave those like that. And all I'm gonna do is put just a little bit of glue on the edge of this, just like that, so that I have made a pocket ones. Let's see if it will fit. Oh, it just barely fit. It's a little bit too long. I'm going to trim down my Project Life card. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in here and just cut just a little bit off. Then around the corners. Okay, and now my card fits in there perfectly. Great. And then I'm going to fold this in half. Oh, so perfect, so perfect. Okay, so now if you wanted to, you could decorate the front of this a little bit more. I think that's what I'm gonna do, is put lace on the top for a tab. I like this one right like this. So I'm just gonna make a tiny little loop and I'm going to cut that just like that. And then I'm going to staple this on. Now you could hot glue it, you can do anything that you want. Okay, there's one staple and there's a second staple. do is, okay, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty inside of there. Okay, so I think, well, first let me go ahead and put this sticker on. Okay, got that. And I'm just going to center it in this pink background and I'm using the pink background just so it'll stand out a little bit. And then I'm gonna decide where I wanna put that. Do I wanna put that up there or? Okay, I think I wanna put it down there, but I want to put a little bit of something else behind it. Maybe that's a little bit darker. you take a little bit of glue on this and this is a one of the Tim Holtz um, ephemera pieces so I'm using that and I'm gonna just go ahead and add some glue onto this and put it like that so it says Paris and I've got this sweet seal and I've got this topper with lace I love that. And we've got journaling spot where somebody can write on the inside. We have a sweet card. And you know what? I think I'm even going to add a little flower sticker to that. Oh, I think this one is very sweet. This tiny little pink flower. I'm going to put that flower just like that. Very sweet. And we've got that all set and ready to go. So I hope that you like these sweet little tags and flip outs for happy mail, for journaling spots, for things that can be fully mass made and reproduced. I hope you love these. And if you do, I'd so appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.